You there. You're to dodge, not catch. If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. You... Fuck. They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. Tire of you? With that positive attitude and fetching ability? <laughs> He's not supposed to fetch it. I don't think you understand how this works. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, <laughs> I think he likes me. You could take him to Ferelden sometime. You should know where he came from. I did promise my sister a visit. She might try to spoil you. <laughs> Remember who you report to. <laughs> The Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Still, I've found certainty in my life now. The Council won't change that. Marry me. What? I mean, will you... I, uh, I had a plan, and... It wasn't a dog, but you were... Uh, it doesn't matter. I've thought of little else, and I don't need a plan. Only to know if you would. I would. Cullen, I will. What is it? Reciting vows to the Maker, that means nothing to me. But I know you. I want your promise to be true. <laughs> People will notice the Inquisitor marrying her commander in the middle of the Exalted Council. It won't go over well. We know a few people who can keep things... secret. Just know, everything feels like it was worth fighting for. It was. What happens now? I make a promise. Seles inaste var aravel. Lama, aralas mirlas, Belenaris. And then you. Oh, right. <clears throat> I swear unto the Maker and the Holy Andraste to love this woman the rest of my days. There you are. I... I just realized I'm greeting my wife. I rather like this. Will you walk with me? The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. I was dazzled. Such rich hangings, splendid marble columns, more golden lions than I could count. It's all still here, still bright, but I no longer see that same palace. And that makes you sad? It is easier on the heart to just see gilding. Now all I can see are the knives in the shadows, the poison in jeweled goblets. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. Anyone with their wits should fear us. We command more people than some countries. It is not our secrets, nor our soldiers. There have always been spymasters and private armies. 
They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Mine. Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. Your influence is felt everywhere. It was only a matter of time before they moved. I'm surprised it took this long. When the time comes, consider giving them what they want. What? You're not serious. They cannot act against what they cannot see. Publicly, I will of course retire from this life, as one would expect. Let them think they've finally won. I shall take up charity work, become a patron of the arts, as all respectable women of my age do. And perhaps take on a protégé. Our work never ends, Inquisitor. We just need fewer witnesses. I should look around. Divine Victoria, am I interrupting? Not at all. The Earl of Redcliffe was telling me of events in Denerim. He represents Ferelden at the summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. How are things in Redcliffe, my lord? We still come across scars left by the Venatori, but the land continues to mend. I had hoped to steal a moment of the Divine's time. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. I am supposed to be impartial while speaking for the Chantry, but I confess that neutrality is beyond me. I may be the Divine, but I will always be your friend. And I can hardly ignore the fate of the Inquisition that I began. Is there anything I can do to make your job easier? <sighs> you could find me a sword and something to hit. I must attend to other matters. If you need me, I am ready to assist. Unconditionally. I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. The Inquisition has grown. I can see how its presence might cause concern. Then you understand why we must demand a reduction of your military forces? A power without allegiance to either Ferelden or Orlay? Even I see neither of our countries can let it rest. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. Orle is on your side, Lord Parvis. The Inquisition's support is not a thing to lose lightly. Which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar? But you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. It's good to see you, my friend. You arrived ahead of me. I hope all's well. It's everything I expected. We've been spared the burden of surprise. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. That's me, by the way. A reward for my interest in the South. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. Inquisitor, Duke Cyril Montfort, 
member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hain. I have long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. Ole wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. The Inquisition's grown. It would be shocking if they didn't find us a threat. Yet you've started no major wars. The Inquisition is a very considerate rival. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is the good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well. <laughs>